So good evening, comrade subscribers. Thanks for hanging around. Thanks for everyone who's joined. It's Friday evening, so I'm back from Perth. Long day of travelling. Perth to Brisbane and Brisbane to Port. Anyway, so we've got a TV today. Electronica 407. So it is a Soviet era little portable TV. Um, reason why I got it. Um, what's, the, what's that? Okay, tuning knobs. Um, is just in case the flyback transformer is the same as in the Electronica VL100, and I can use it for spare parts if it's working. So I don't, I don't know. You would think the the pick the impression you get of Soviet Union is that they had one. Um, yeah, everything was centralized. Everything went back to Moscow, but you know they had one factory that built flyback transformers, for example. So they had the same flyback transformer built for twenty years. I, I don't know. Anyway, obviously that's uh, an exaggeration. So just in case, but um, this one is a little special as well. In um, you can probably tell here, if I uh, zoom down. Yes, it's Nastroika which is the tuning knob here, but it's um, the 1980 uh, Moscow Olympics. Uh, so the first Olympics that were held in the Eastern Bloc, I'm um, led to believe. And um, well, yes, there was lots of boycotts and things like that. But um, I guess this is a special, special edition of the TV to celebrate the, uh, the 1980 Mos Moscow Olympics. So... Uh, we've got the usual kind of weirdness, well, weirdness in that, you know, weird kind of power supply. This is where the fuse would go, um, 250 milliamp fuse. Uh, here we've got 220 volts plus 12 volts in as well, so you can use it, um, hook it up to your larder when you're having a picnic. Uh, what else we got? We've got... Uh, Antenna input there. There's no composite in on this one. So uh, anyway, uh, what we'll do. So we've got our on-off switch here, I guess. Nice and funky. I'm not sure what that what that little thing there is for. I'll have a close look later. Uh, I guess period accurate elf sticker. I don't know. <laughs> but let's zoom out a bit. Got a neat little carry handle, so that's pretty neat. Uh, what do we got up here? So we've got the tuning knob there, like I said. Um, we've got some tuning uh, trimming uh, capacitors or whatever there. Up here we've got uh, two switches, volume control, brightness, contrast. All right, let's have a closer look. Let's have a closer look. This one here. Maybe if I do it like that. I don't know. Does it say if it actually? I don't know if it actually says anything or not. No, it doesn't look like it says anything, does it? I don't know. Antenna MV DMV and um, over here we've got. I guess that's the two bands and um, we've got uh, two channel ranges there as well so volume VKL um, so your phone on the side yep yeah, so that's um, usual warnings there but yeah so not sure if it works. Well, for a start, it's missing the fuse. <laughs> I've probably got enough computers and electronics that I could actually replace that with a with an accurate. Um, actually, I think on the Alpha, I think the Alpha's got the same fuse holder. Anyway, I'll just bypass that. So, I guess we need to pull it apart to figure out how to power it. Looking at it, looks like we've got. Okay, a screw there, which is missing. And then one screw there. I assume... 
that's all I can see really. Nice and simple. We'll have this opened up and fixed in a jiffy, no doubt. Oh, this screwdriver's a little big, but can I be bothered spending 10 seconds to get the right size on? Okay. Seems simple enough. Okay. All right. That okay. All right. Got some dead insects. Transformer on that side. Well, what do you know? This looks very similar to the VL100. Uh, it's not the same. Uh, and obviously I'm not an expert on Soviet television design. But the way it opens out it does look uh, very... So no, I don't know. There we go. And what's this? Oh, that's the antenna. Right, pull the antenna out. Okay. There we go. Bit of dust in there. But you got your power supply. Rectification all in the back there. That's not bad. Okay, yep. Yeah, it looks like a regulator down the bottom there as well. I might give that a bit of a spray out. Cool. Okay. So it's not the same, but it does look very, the way these panels open out. What do we have underneath? We've got two downward firing speakers again. Okay. So, I wonder how this top panel comes off. So we've got a screw either side there that that's, that would be holding this in. So let's undo this side. Actually, I'm feeling really, really tired. As usual, I didn't sleep at all last night. So um, I might make this a really quick one just because I thought, thought this looked really cool. And I'll upload it. And then um, see how we go. Of course, I should have taken a photo before I start pulling it apart for the thumbnail. Okay. So, yep, so that's very much like the, the VL100. Uh, flyback transformer is different. Actually, looks well. It is actually it is different. Well, of course, it'd be different. <laughs> so I won't be able to reuse that one. But I wonder how this comes off. We've got two screw two there. Well, I think um, hmm. I might give this a bit of a clean. Oh, interesting. So I've taken the side screws off, and of course they're different lengths, aren't they? <laughs> of course they're different lengths. <laughs> okay. Right. So there is some screws here that look that are holding this black top bit in. 
like they've got some Loctide or something on them. Stop them moving. Question is, why do they want it to stop moving? What is... What could they be holding in place? They're not holding a spring or something. Let me just put that back. All right, let's get... Okay, so... For powering this, I assume we're just, we're just going off 12 volts, I assume. So we can either put 12 volts directly in. So this is the so this is the little power supply here. So assume it takes takes mains voltage in and converts it or bypasses it and puts 12 volts in. So that means I can just should be able to just hook 12 volts up to this, I guess. This one here is labeled plus minus goes on I don't know what this is because that just hooks over the top of it <laughs> so I'm guessing I can just stick 12 volts in on those two so looks like we do have you know we looks like we've got a maybe we've got a this could be a bridge rectifier Sorry, this could be a bridge rectifier there, I guess. We've got our smoothing capacitor. Transistor or regulator down there, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look. Yep, you can't really tell, I know. <laughs> Why isn't it? Uh, there we go. Anyway, it was just a quick look. I basically, like I said, I basically wanted to get just in case, because it was pretty cheap. But just in case it had um, similar flyback transformer I could use for the one of the VL100s. But it looks different. So what we can do then... Oops. Remember where that went, Brett. <laughs> Let's have a see in here. Show you a second. Remember. So what we can do instead... Is maybe see if it works. I wouldn't have the faintest idea how to bypass. Would be interesting, but I need a schematic, I guess, to try and understand what signals go where. Or maybe I could just have a look at what what's feeding the um, the neck here, the neck board. Hmm. Anyway. Electronica 407 for the 1980 Nostroika <laughs> tuning. I know that's tuning for the 1980 Olympics. Um, yeah, nice quick one. Let's see how we go with it. Uh, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> go to shower. Go to bed. Bye for now.